So let's continue with the second part of this tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna build up a loop system that um, will reproduce the sounds that we trigger with our hands and then it will play a loop of uh, these sounds. Um, so to do so we want to select also the set axis of our right hand so we are gonna add a select chop and we are gonna grab just the set axis so what I want to do it's like when I go close to the camera so forward then my my keynote will um, trigger an event so an expression that goes from 0 to 1 so for this reason I also want to add an expression and now I will choose the right threshold that will be then the trigger of my uh, gesture so. So here is the clinic. So here is my right hand. So and I want to go like I want to have an event when my hand is like at 0 0.85 or less. Okay. So expression when the values are less than 0 0.85 so yes so and of course this um, trigger it's now from 0 to 1 but um, I will need probably to change the values so now let's see a little bit how uh, loops can work in Ableton, you can create loops in different ways. I found um, the looper tool very useful uh, because it can be easily controlled uh, through Touch Designer. So uh, what we need to do is like we search for the looper in the audio FX and then we drag the looper into the um, clip slot. Here we have our looper. So basically what the looper does is like we have some notes. I already positioned them here. So if I play the clip, I hear the sound. And now if I go and click on the record button of the looper, I'm now recording these sounds and if I go and press play and I stop the clip I can hear that the sounds uh, have been recorded by the looper and so I can also change the speed so this is how you record loops in Ableton or you can record loops in this way in Ableton or in other ways so now what I want to do it's basically now I clear so there is no sound anymore so what I want to do actually it's having like a, a way uh, to control these two buttons the record button and the play button and I want to control them through the gesture so to do so I need to add um, MIDI mapper yes and I need this tool so basically I take this operator from the touch designer Ableton package I go in parameters and then I go in electric piano soft and then I want to choose as device the looper as now it's not shown because before getting the looper and to see all the devices I need to do a pulse that create a 
connection between touch designer and Ableton so basically pulsing this will allow us to have a touch designer Ableton mapper so this guy will be now visible and this means also that we will have in the electro piano soft instrument in Ableton the touch designer mapper so what does this thing do so basically we can choose to map whatever objects here in uh, touch designer to this mapper and then through touch designer we can control the um, values to send to one of the eight maps here so basically now what are we gonna do it's like click on map I press on the record button the state it changed and so when I go and go on 0 0.18 it's in the play position and when it's like 0 0.35 for, for example it's recording so these are the two values that I need to trigger with my gesture and this will allow me to to record the loop so stop and clear everything so let's go in touch designer and I'll go back here so what I need is like the zero I need a math and the range has to be like when I'm from zero to one I want the values to be 0 0.85 so in the play position and when it's zero when it's one I want the value being 0 0.35 that is the record value so also I will need a chop uh, a logic chop that will toggle the channel So basically when I have the expression of my channel then it will behave like a toggle, like a button. So let's see if it works like this. So now I'm in front of the keynote. So when I go and trigger, so yeah with the logic chop you can see that is behaving like a button so it will record now and then when I decide to stop the recording just go forward with my hand and it will be now playing the looper very good so we can now add um, out We have a new output. We need a new input into the Touch Designer Ableton package. In. We can add a node. We can name it Looper Controller. And well, we have to send these values here to the Ableton mapper. So basically, what we need to do is like send value here to this guy. So if we now go to the live, 
so now we should be able to record our look let's see what happens so we can also have a look to the Kinect Alright, in here, so let's check if everything is working, so we need to so now we are recording 0 0.35. Let's play. So see here in Ableton this is the loop we recorded and these are the sounds that we triggered. That's how we record the loop in Fast Designer. I hope this was helpful for you and I hope you will use this tool. Let me know if you have some problems or some questions. There might be a new tutorials on how to create visual effects using Touch Designer and Ableton or just other tutorials on how to use Kinect and Touch Designer. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next tutorial.